Hello guys, it's almost addicted here and today we are building this small survival house with an underground base as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, press subscribe and then there'll be a little bell button. Make sure you press the little bell button and just hit that little notification sign press save and there you're done make sure you slap that like button comment something down below as you can see it's a pretty damn epic house and we've got the inside i've done it like this so you can kind of see on the inside we've got everything you need so you can come down there we've got a place for our bed we've got a furnaces at the back there it's just a really really nice house so uh, if you like houses like this definitely slap the heck out of that like button it really really does help me out without further ado let's have a look what we need to build this in the first place so as you can see what you need is just the basics really, oak and stuff like that, you need some glass and your crafting tables, your stuff, but uh, that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple, um, but I'm going to build it on the outside. I'm going to build it like this, but if you want to make it in the sky like this, you're more than welcome, but if you want to make it underground, um, then you're just going to have to dig down. So first we're going to have to do a square that's made of dirt. Okay, as you can see, I've got my box and it's 11 by 11, but you guys will only see this. So what you have to do is dig down and then you have to clear out a space of 10 by 10 and just fill it all with the spruce. Um, as you can see, I've done it a little bit lower, which uh, it doesn't really matter. So you can go as far down as you like. Um, as you can see here, I've got the entrance coming down here, but it's obviously not going to be here. I just did it for the thumbnail. We're going to do it from the inside of the house. So what we're going to do is start building the house in this 11 by 11 square. So starting from here, we're going one, two, three, and we're going to place our oak log one, two, three up. We're going to have a five space one, two, three, a five space again, one, two, three, another five space one, two, three. Now at the side here, we're going to get our oak going all the way along there all the way along there the left and right hand side and then we're going to place one oak either side of it and then oak going over the top and we're going to do the same for this as well now at the sides here we're going to place one two and we're going to make a little window in each side here just making sure there's a space for that door so underneath there and then one at the front and we do exactly the same at the front okay so i'll do it on one side and we're going to repeat on the other side so i'm at the left hand side we're going to get our spruce stairs going all the way along and then we're going to get our spruce, bring it out by two and just bring this all the way along as well. And then we're just going to get two pieces of the oak fence or three even at each side like this just to support the side roof. So I'm going to do the same at the other side. And if you want to start doing this, as you can see here, where you go one, two, three, and then you fit trap doors going all the way around, you're welcome to do that. So I'm going to do it at the other side, speed this up. Okay, at the front here, we're going to do the same on the front and the same at the back. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to put our three little things at the side and then all we're going to do is get our oak fences going up to the top here and then we can actually fill all the glass in so we can fill it at the front we can fill these side bits and repeat this same pattern on the other side Whoop. okay this is the back of the building we're going to go one two three one two three and then in the middle one two three four five with the oak logs we're going to do exactly the same at the front okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go from the left and right so we're going to go like this we're going to bring this all the way to the other side we're going to do exactly the same on this side as well and then we're just going to have them meet in the middle so we're going to put stairs like this until they meet like this all the way up okay you should have something like that so it's all the way up to here and if you would like what you can do is get this sticking out at this side and if you want to use more resources you can put it all the way through the build but it's not really necessary but if you would like to you're more than welcome to do that and then we're just going to put our two stairs either side like that and then we're going to close these roofs up like this so this is going all the way across here and we're going to do exactly the same at the other side okay we've got both sides done as you can see if you would like you can put a little bit of a slab going across the top but I'm leaving like that it looks perfectly fine to me so uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to get our oak on this, we're going to go across this layer and we're going to go across this layer and we're going to do the same at this side and this is where we're going to get our oak in. Now if you can't see what I'm going to do is get some glowstone and put it across the top of the roof here. And it's just to seal it in so we can see. Uh, now we're going one, two, three, we're going to do the same here, one, two, three. We can actually put our glass in, one, two, one, two and now what we do here is get our wool white wool either side there either side here as well if you want to leave it open so you can actually get up there you, you can do that as well and uh, we're going to put our glass in here and here and at the very top all i did is put some oak logs 
Now, if you want to save on resources and just put the normal logs, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some spruce for the roof. Now, in fact, we're going to have to put it higher. We'll put it on this layer here, and we're going to bring this going down. So I'm going to actually get some stairs at this point and bring them all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, it only just fits, so you have to jump in this area. But if you would like, what you can do to make it a little bit easy is just bring this here, and then you can actually curl around and get up to the top. So we're just going to fill all this in at the top here. Get that all filled in. And I think you can put one there and get down still. No, no. So you're going to have to leave it like that. Now, if you want to get some railings up here or something like that, you can turn this room into whatever you like, but we're going to go downstairs. Now, we're going to take a hole out, I would say, roughly about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our oak. We're actually going to get the blocks. And we're going to take it underneath this one. So it should be underneath this, coming all the way down to the ground. So it should fit in there. Perfect. And then we're going to get some ladders going all the way up to the top here. Now what we can do is get some more spruce and we'll fill the whole floor in. So I'm going to do that now. Now for our light source, I've just put a glowstone in the back here. You can actually hide it with some trapdoors. I put a chest there. I put a chest, crafting table and a little furnace or something. And you can put a plant pot on there or something like that. Now for here, we can actually cover it up at this point lower here. Or here actually. And then what we're going to do is run this ladder going all the way down. Now what I did on the outside is I got oak like that and then just put a little bush on just to decorate nicely and then I just got a flower pot outside with a plant in there and there and then if you want to do the same on this side as well you're more than welcome to do that and of course we should get our oak door on. So we've got our oak door on both sides as you can see I've just put a bit of bush behind there so now let's work on the actual inside of the house. Okay so now for the underground base now what I've done here is at the side of this we're going to count one two three four and we're going to fill this all the way up to the top and this is just so we can actually fit our bed in there now i put some glowstone across the roof this is just to keep it nice and well lit uh, just for now while we're doing this tutorial now underneath here you want to do about three maybe four high so you could even get away with four bringing it all the way across here now if you would like what you can do is put this going down here and then we're going to get our ladders going all the way up to the top and this is where we're going to have our bedroom now if you want to extend this a little bit further, you can do that and you can have a three bedroom, but it's not really necessary. Now we'll take these out, I'm just going to put a little bit of slab just going across here just to keep it nice and trim. Now at the back you can put whatever you'd like, if you want to put some glowstone with some of your trap doors and stuff, if you want these as shelving, you can do that. At the side we are going to place our chests, and this is it right in the corner of our build bringing it all the way up to the top. Now what we can do is make a little workbench here. So we're going to place a stair and a stair either side and then we're going to run an oak slab going all the way across. Now we're going to get a brewing stand so you can put as many as you like, keep as many as you like, you can have that in. Now we can take out the wall, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then what we're going to do in here is we can place, place something like this, these either side, some plant pots, maybe put some flowers in just to make it look nice, you know. And then what we're going to do in here, we're going to have kind of like a little kitchen in here so we can get our furnaces. Now first of all we can put a glowstone here and we can put some glowstone at the very top here. And then we can just put some wooden trap doors in there or something like that. And we could get our furnaces all the way in here if you want some more coming up the side here so you've got plenty of room. And if you want to take some out of the walls here so just so you can kind of fit your chests in. Maybe put that above it or something like that or something at the top just so you can close them over there and you've got your nice little kitchen now at the side here we're going to obviously put these round like this and then we're going to get some bush and place it on top now at the very side here we can count one two three of the soul sand and then we can place some wooden trap doors and face it all in here and you can always expand this so this is the good thing about it you can expand it because you guys will be underground you get your never warts over here and then what you can do is you can put some more glowstone over the top and actually fill that with trap doors as well so get those trap doors filled you can use that as a storage place at the top maybe you can put some chests going up here as well so you've got extra storage going down there and then at the side here now if you want to knock out another room because obviously you're underground you can maybe put an enchantment place or something like that or you could just maybe have this little area here have it as like a little kitchen area maybe some going over the top and then use it as kind of like whatever you'd like. You could even have some bushes going up like this. 
and then get your trap doors in between here and here. Just kind of makes it look quite nice, something a bit quirky, a bit different. And at the side here, what you can do is we can get another one of these and these and maybe get some bookshelves or something like that, some glass cabinets. So you could have your bookshelves going along the top and the bottom and you can actually see into the kitchen there. If you don't want to see into the kitchen, you can always do something like that. It's got a little trap door and then you can put your enchantment table here. And then it's next to a few books so you've still got a little bit of enchantment. Now if you want to add a little bit of carpet, you're more than welcome to get a bit of carpet in there just to complete the look. And it's entirely up to you guys really. Uh, you can do it however you'd like. Obviously this one, I'm going to replace it for a normal red. But there you go guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You've got a new survival house and an underground base, so make sure you slap the heck out of that like button. This was the one in the thumbnail, but I thought I would do a little bit extra for you guys. And I think that's pretty cool underground base to be honest. So uh, there you go guys, I shall see you in the next video. Make sure you check out my other videos. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you get subscribed. I've got loads of videos coming soon. I've done dragon heads. I've got loads of survival ones, underground thing, a big mob grinder that looks like a spaceship. There's a huge, um, big um, rustic house coming soon. So uh, catch you later, guys. Have a lovely weekend and peace.